If you've been looking for a fish house that can double as an RV you can use all year round, let me introduce you to the Yeti Grand Escape. Hey, what's up everybody, it's Chris Young. Let me tell you, ice fishing is not only something that a lot of people haven't discovered yet, but it is a niche that is fantastic, fun, and we have ice houses, fish houses, whatever you wanna call them, that are built for entertaining, enjoying, and making sure that experience is the best that it absolutely can be. I'm standing inside the Yeti, made by Voyager, 816, just absolutely beautiful angler edition ice house. Now, what's great about this one is the Grand Escape editions are made to go four seasons. You can use it as an ice house, but a lot of them come with bathrooms. Everything that Yeti makes is completely customizable, all aluminum frame, but ice house, RV, if you want the best of both worlds, this is where you're gonna start. Right here on the rear wall, we are dominated by this plush leather trifold sofa sleeper. I uh, love this because you could easily fit two people on this, but this is Yeti's own custom furniture. Comfortable, plush, and like I said, it can be a sleeper. On both side walls over here, I got power ports, I got dual USB charging, and little LED lights. Plus right above me, you'll notice I have them up here as well, because up above my head is one of those bunks. You'll see right here, this is what's known as the Euro Loft. A lot of times uh, in some of the higher grade uh, Class Bs and Class As, you'll see this system. But you want to bring the bed down, just come on down with it. You want to bring it back up, just push it back up. Hydraulic system works great, can sleep two people there, and you pretty much have yourself a bunk system in the back wall. Now over here on the campsite, you'll notice behind my beautiful fully cedar walls, my control panel, I have a countertop here that also has slide out storage underneath. So if you want to put your fishing tackle, you know, maybe it's your tackle boxes, your cases, you maybe you got room over here for some of the smaller rods, you absolutely can. Plus you have a dual USB charging port right there as well. Love the fact that they put a rubberized slip resistant floor. Now this one has six holes in it for to do your ice fishing. Because as you know, when you're out on the frozen lake, you don't wanna fish out of just one hole. You want the ability to be able to get up and move or more importantly, find different spots. Well these, the catch covers that they have built in, they just screw out and there you go. Just pop right out, take your auger, drill your hole, push and twist that back in, get yourself a little slush bucket to go around it, and you are good to go. Over here on the off-camp side, I have another counter with some storage inside. We have windows. You can see outside that also has screens, so if you wanna let some air in, you can. You got a dorm-style fridge over here good space to store that fish that you're gonna catch. Solid wood construction all the way around, strut supporting on my storage up top. Got myself some pantry space or more fishing space down below. Making my way on up, you're also gonna notice the angling LED lights that we have down here. That's so you can see, well that one's out, but these over here work. That, that way you can see what you're you know, fishing for down in the hole. So if at night you wanna cut the rest of the lights off, you absolutely can. Screen door on the main entry door here. Jackknife sofa with LED accent light underneath. You'll see we got our furnace, we got a 12 volt charger, and we got our battery disconnect right there. You also have the instep stand. So if you wanna put your table out, you absolutely can. Leather jackknife sofa large window, dual USB charging as well as power. I got my fan and my heat controls right there. And I got myself a bunk, which when you're ready to just do some fishing, put this up, 250 pound max capacity, push button mushroom light right there. So if I wanna sit here, try to catch that all elusive walleye, I absolutely can. I won't because I haven't yet, but I will. Making our way over to the kitchen, once again, solid wood construction. You'll see that Yeti thought about everything. 
with these grand escape with these grand escapes editions. Now this one they were in is the 816. So a lot of times in units this length, you're not going to get bathrooms. Uh, the, the grand escapes either have a half bath or a full bath. Over 20 feet, you'll get the full bath. This one not being 20 feet, you're going to get just the uh, half bath. But over here, I got another storage shelf. I want to put my TV. I could. I have my cable connection as well as all my HDMI connections pretty much condensed into one spot. So if I have a DVD player, I got a camera to see my fish. TVs, I could plug everything in right here. Plus I got 12 volt charging. More 12 volt and dual USB charging down here. Heater, water heater. Got my monitor to check my battery, my tanks. My sink with my brush nickel high rise faucet right here. My AM FM command center by Jensen with Bluetooth, HDMI and DVD. Very nice little touch. More storage up there. And one thing that Yeti does a good job of, they have this blue LED accent light on everything uh, on their glass. Whenever you go into any of the Yetis, you'll always see one area that has this awesome light up blue light. Why do I think it's awesome? Because it also doubles as a great night light. Now you have tremendous lighting inside this beautiful Grand Escape uh, Edition Yeti. Speakers mounted in the top. Got the ceiling fan there. I got myself an air conditioner in the back as well. And we're set up for Weingart Wi-Fi and 4G LTE booster if we need it. Come back over here to the kitchen. I got a flush mounted microwave. I got my hood right there. Three burner cooktop. I got the Furion oven, the 16 inch right there. And in the nose of this, I got myself a little half bath. This is awesome. Got the Dometic bowl with the foot flush. It's porcelain. If I want to run some air, I can from my remote control in here. And I even have some storage right in here to put whatever you want. Obviously being a fish house, you're going to put your fishing gear, some more tackle, some more things to catch even more fish right there and a solid door coming out. And when it's time to charge up my cell phone, you even have a wireless charger right here built into the Yeti. So best of both worlds for both a fish house and an RV, but we've seen the inside of this beauty. What do you say? We go take a look at the outside. So Frosty, I want you to blink if you like the Grand Escape Edition. Frosty likes it too. So here we are on the outside of the Grand Escape 816 PKH, the Yeti Voyager. Right away, you're gonna notice aluminum from tip to tip. From the, from the front, the construction, inside and out. LED running light strips, both on the front angles of the nose as well as under the awning. You got your city water connection right here. You got the rough groove to help with the rock guard right there. And if you noticed on the entryway, I wanted you to see this. There's your screen door. Easily slides in and out. Solid construction. Now this one, um, you know, lightweight because it is made out of aluminum. That really helps, but still sturdy enough to take care of all those conditions season around. Sealed windows all the way around as well as the doors. You're going to notice we have extra silicon beam going around the tops and the bottoms of these. Now with some of the Yetis, you do have the hydraulic system. This one just happens to be the hand crank, but it gets you right down to the ice low. You're connecting it, touching it. You won't be, you know, you won't have that airflow going underneath. Power ports outside. So if you want to set out something, you can. Come around the back. You're going to see not only do we have the LED runner lights up top, we got them on the sides, the floodlights. Over here on the off camp side, I just like the graphics. I love it. You got the Yeti walking with, my guess is, eh, I'm not going to take a guess at the rod, but he's got him some fish. He's got the footprints. Once again, got your 30 amp service right there, storage for your sewer hose, your twin 20 LP tanks, your outlet connection and your dump control is actually over here on the other side and your crank to either get you hooked up or torn back down. And the great thing about these two is even when you're hooked up to your truck, you can leave it hooked up to the truck because the, the tongue will just pivot with you and get you flat all the way down on the ice. But when it comes to combining the best of both worlds for an ice house and for an RV, 
I gotta tell you, the Yeti Grand Escape 816 PKH is a great option for you to check out.